Good morning, traders. Today is the 29th of April 2021, and here is another Bitcoin morning update um, and other cryptocurrencies as well. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, what we had last night is we finally had a move up into this area of liquidity, um, which is given us a nice high now we've been waiting for something like this to happen to give us a signal that things might be ready to retrace or might be ready just to come back down to the lows of a range and then test up once again so we did have that previously we hadn't we'd had these really kind of poor highs that were put in the yeah there was not a lot really going on here we'd hit our weekly level We'd got some scalps off of those, but they weren't significant enough to say, OK, there are trap traders here. Let's move down. Um, and this is what I've been saying throughout the week is that I did expect a range to be put in for the majority of the week after this bounce. And it's exactly what we've got. Um, I think so many people were kind of looking at this bounce here, trying to short it the whole way up because they were angry that they missed this low. And they were like, oh, I want to get back in at 50K. I want to get back in down at these lows never happened so that gets people impatient and you have a move up like this and then FOMO kicks in people long it <laughs> who have probably missed this low down here after trying to short it all the way up out of anger um, or out of annoyance for missing this low they would have been shorting it on the way up and then they'd be like okay this uh this isn't working at all so you can have a range you have this Facebook rumor and then they long <laughs> going up into here. So those who've been waiting for the long and have been shorting and losing money on the way up, they then long here and now they're losing money on the way down. And that's just the way this market works. And that's just the way that markets always work. So we've now got this high and we've now got these trap traders up at the high here. Uh, that can mean one of two things. So either we just continued back down to the low of the range here, which is where we are really or we can start to see a larger retrace to areas of support below so what i will say is significant is that we now have a larger range forming here or that has formed here and this has given us a really nice profile here on the um on the volume profile so you can see our point of control is very clear very obvious after we came up lost this point of control we back tested it and now we're moving down lower again now we have come into an area <coughs> that corresponds nicely with these lows so you can see we've got some candle closes here we've got some wicks to come down and this was our support before breaking lower and again it was support around this area here so we do have an area of support that price is currently in and we have taken the liquidity at the low here so Locally, we do have a nice bounce back into the range. And if this can hold, let's say, 53,890 area, then we could be looking back up at least like local time frame to retest the point of control, maybe even higher. But then we do have the potential now that we do have this high to see a larger retrace. So where could we see this coming down to if it does go lower? So we can pull this fib from our low to our high and we can see this gives us two very nice areas here. So we have our 0.5 and we have our golden, golden pocket. Our 0.5 <coughs> corresponds really nicely with this initial low. So this is the wick down that we had last week or the week before, whenever it was. Uh, so this was that big wick down that we had um, before the bounce into this range and that matches really nicely with this consolidation period that it was trying to hold before it went lower and again we came up through it had a very quick back test and then went higher so we do have this as an area of interest for me so this is 51700 and then if we come down lower we have very simply it's the high of this range it is our golden pocket and it's that psychological 50k so those are two very clear levels that I'm seeing right now. Um, again, we do have something a, a little bit more local. Uh, so we do have the value area of value area low of this range coming in just below these lows. 
So we could, <clears throat> if this doesn't hold here, it could again just come down, sweet piece, and start to rise back up. So this gives me three levels. So we're looking for maybe a very short trade here. And then we're looking for kind of slightly longer term things if this comes down here. Now, I am in a low, um, a low, I am in a long from this low. Uh, so this was as we did the swing failure pattern to get this move up. I went into a long, we all were doing this on stream as it happened. Um, so I got into this long and I have taken a short. So I initially took a short off of this weekly, uh, took profit on that. And then I've added again, just on this rise. I didn't, I didn't really manage to catch the rise, but as it was coming back down, I kind of got back in on this weekly area. I didn't, I didn't get in at the highs here, but I have a short from around here. Um, and I have a long from around here. <clears throat> What I would be looking to do is, I'm not taking profit on this short again yet. Uh, I'd be happy just to hold that. And if we do come back up again, stop me out. Fine. This now gives me a nice high and this now gives us an invalidation for a short trade, which we didn't really have before. Uh, so the invalidation is clear. If it takes this high, then I think we move on signif significantly higher. Uh, but what I will do is in the short, I would look to take that down to these levels of interest. And at the same time, I would look to compound this long around here. So if all goes to plan, you end up with a long that still has a nice average below kind of any danger area. And you have a short that is kind of paid for you to take that long. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of nice, relaxed trading for me. Um, at the moment, I'm not... I've taken like one or two scalps the last few days, but it's really nothing major. Uh, yeah, and we'll just we'll just see what happens. So, see how things progress. We know our support below, and if this does break higher, then it's quite a way really until our next resistance. So you're really looking up towards kind of sixty k, um, unless of course this is a bit less likely. But we could always swing failure these highs and come back into the range and keep this range going on for a little bit longer. So, yeah, I think that is that covered on this chart. What I also want to go through today, um, because we are focusing on this a lot this week, is uh, I would like to go over the TPO charts. <coughs> so let me start with our daily. So this is my daily TPO. Um, and again, you can see we had finally like a nice high that was put in so this has given us a nice area where traders are trapped where it just came through and back out one session no way back um so weak hands at the top fomo buyers at the top here now this can move down and punish those late early longs however you want to look at it <laughs> um so this now kind of has that high after putting in like a, a few days of really kind of poor highs there was no no tail on this there was nothing at all on this one it was just like oh, we're going up we're going up we're going up and yeah we finally put in that high here so on the tpo we do have areas below so this actually came in really nicely here so let me just i'm going to keep this on 100 tick like the the daily i it's more just for getting those zones um when we go down into sessions i like to kind of change my tick size towards like the 40 50 tick um but 100 tick for here when we're when we're at like 54k 100 tick is okay that's giving us 50 dollar areas so we came in really nicely this morning to our time-based point of control now this is where on this day and this was the bounce day this is where price spent the most time throughout the day and price plus time equals value so this is an area of value that we have come down and we also have our volume point of control just above there so this is a really nice area to come into and we are currently just still within these areas of value that have been built for the last few days um we do also have to be aware that we do have these single prints now i mentioned this straight away after they happened um i think on the first tpo video i did earlier in the week that there are these single prints here 
under normal circumstances you would expect those to fill but sometimes what doesn't happen in trading is more telling um so as this came up and we didn't even kind of get this move down it's kind of a signal that until you put in a high like this you're not going to look for these single points to fill <clears throat> now maybe we could look for this to happen um because we've got this at the top here okay so we've got these imbalance at the top and we've got these now lower down which price could seek to come down into so again these line up quite nicely with the highs of this range so the lows of these single prints here line up quite nicely with these highs okay and we do also have this stuff going on a little bit lower down so this takes us into the golden pocket area if we did come back and fill these single prints now these tails i'm not too interested in um this was just a, a quick move through and this was a, a, a buying tail on this day so yeah these would be our areas of value um our areas of interest we also have to be aware of our value area low from this day coming in at 52 200 so uh yeah that covers that moving on onto our session templates again you can see the nice highs that we got up here with traders trapped up at these highs now what i can do is we can if i remove these we can have a look at the numbers and we can see yeah 25 negative delta up here and um yeah we've really got kind of let's move this to bid ask profile let's have a look at the imbalance and uh yeah you can see a lot of sellers trapped within this wick up here which is nice that's what we like to see is um <laughs> i say that wrong a lot of buyers <laughs> trapped <laughs> at the um at the top up here sellers obviously no that's that's uh yeah <laughs> a lot of buyers trapped at the top um got that the wrong way around i'm so used to seeing like these big wicks down to the downside um so yes that is what we are looking at within that high um and yeah that kind of covers that um what i will say as well uh for anyone who is interested in this tpo stuff uh this is kind of what our um, the theme is for this week so <clears throat> as you all know we do a weekly fun stream on a friday night and tomorrow night we have a very special guest lined up um who is if you want to learn about tpo charts this guy is like like the gospel <laughs> so yeah you if you um he was a he's been a market maker or he was a market maker for a number of years um he's the guy that uh is on the other side trapping traders up here um we will be speaking to him tomorrow on stream i'll be making an announcement about that later on today in the discord so uh put that in your calendar um make sure you do watch tomorrow evening and um yeah if you would like to learn about tpo charts or just uh about what market makers do and the, how they influence the charts and to hear some interesting stories then please do join us tomorrow evening uh finally i will give as always a shout out here to our trading community so if you are not already involved with us over on discord please do come and say hello uh, we've had a few members joining us recently so hello rjc hello jimmy hello zendo and anyone else that's joined uh, we have a nice altcoin trading room here we have our bitcoin technical analysis going on here so this was a really nice spot of the the first bounce that we had after getting that high was we come into our golden pocket into our anchored vwap of the low so that's a really nice bounce there well done chris for spotting that we have again like some really cool kind of higher time frame stuff going on here 
It looks quite interesting how it's been finding the lows and the highs. So that is Jaffa has been saying that. Of course, we have the daily level that was so well respected. And uh, yeah, we can just kind of go through and see some really nice, really nice TA here. Um, yeah, the daily range that we have going on. Um, so this could give us a larger range. We've got a nice volume profile on the side here going on. So uh, yeah, that uh, that covers that. The link to the Discord is in the description below. I will also add it as a comment. So yeah, please do come and join us. Okay, uh, moving on swiftly to Ethereum. Still going up, still very strong, okay? So this is, uh, yeah, really, really nice from Ethereum. Um, we do have this really kind of, this trend line um, <clears throat> here that's forming and is like, we seem to just be going kind of parabolic here. We do have our targets. I see this coming up towards this monthly and then we will see a larger correction. Um, we can lose that. That's, that's just from the Bitcoin chart that's carried on over. Uh, yeah, really not an awful lot to say on Ethereum. Um, we could probably get a nice one-to-one -one out of this. So let's just do a little bit of, uh, yeah, let's just go out of interest. O to high to low. That does give us our one-to-one -one coming in at 52.750, okay? So we do have that coming in up here. Um, but again, I do think maybe that could consolidate us for a while and then we're looking for a move higher. Um, on Ethereum USD, obviously we do have the, the big $3,000 area to be aware of. Um, again, we could probably do some FIB stuff on this as well, but I'm not gonna look into that. I think it's mainly the Bitcoin chart that will lead us. Um, and as long as the Bitcoin pair is doing well, and as long as Bitcoin itself is stable enough within the area that it's in, I do see us coming up towards this $3,000 area. Um, Litecoin, again, no real kind of developments here. I am still looking for it to move up to this area of resistance. Um, and again, as long as this can hold this monthly, I would be looking for possibly a breakout if we do come up here to retrace and then finally after like two years break out of this area because this is the first time that we have had it hold this monthly and not fall straight down onto this monthly so um yeah uh any other altcoins that are are our are moving alice dodo all this new stuff oh who watched the video yesterday um, on the altcoins. So here we go, here's some action on BZRX. I'm gonna remove this position because, yeah, I'm still in this. Um, but this is getting to that point now where like this supply is not gonna keep pushing it down for that much longer. Um, I am very bullish on this. And <clears throat> yeah, it is performing very well today. Uh, what else did we have on there? So we do have RSR. It was on that video yesterday. So again, RSR is moving up nicely today. We are up 5% on the day. And if I go into some of my KuCoin, whoops, low cap gems, we have Quant, which on its BTC pair, again, it's steady. This isn't something that we're looking at. Like we're not expecting overnight gains on these. This is steady accumulation and areas, we are in areas that are low risk. Um, UBXT has this crazy wick on this chart. Um, but once again, a nice kind of reaccumulation area going on here. And uh, what else did I have? No, that was it. Quant, RSR, BZRX, UBXT, and 
um, and, and maybe something else that might come to mind in a minute. Um, no, that, that is right. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, yeah, looking good. Oh, the other horse, of course, Acro. Acropolis. Here we go. So just a quick check on Acropolis. We're looking for these probably this weekly level now. Um, after this really nice bounce, we're looking for this to move a little bit higher again. Um, cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. We are 20 minutes into this video and that is plenty of time for one of these updates. So let's just go back to Bitcoin. Uh, let's just see where we are. And we are having this bounce. So again, we did have that. <coughs> we took these lows. We came back and now we're getting a nice bounce off of that. So this range could play out a little bit longer. We do have to be aware of our point of control that's coming in at 55k here, um, roughly. Thus, I remember it was around there. Um, so we do have this point of control that we do have to be aware of, which if you have taken a scalp long from this low, which would have been a nice long, then that would be a take profit. But we could also be looking back to the highs of this range if we do get through that 55K area. Okay, that will do it. So I will see everyone in the chat and yeah, have a great day um, and happy trading or whatever you whatever you say um cool cheers guys bye